everyone. Welcome to Natural Wonders. Today I've got a really nice demo that I'm going to do for you. The weekly tips basically. What I've got is I've just drawn out a basic template. Hope you can see that clearly. A basic template of... Uh, I'm doing a Japanese water garden. I'm going to paint a Japanese water garden with some water in front and stuff. So what I'm doing, I've drawn this out. Just the basic outline of it. I'm going to use that as yeah, a template. I've cut out the actual stencil, as you can see, and I've just put the paper back over, and I've retained this piece that I've cut out as well, you need to save that. But, and I've got some black gesso on a plate, so I'm just going to use this black gesso now. Acrylics, black gesso, it'll dry quick. I'm just going to make sure I touch the template. You actually put some colour in there first, because that's all going to be dark. And I just start to run out of a bit of colour. I can just start to put some colour in there, you see, but you always have to go away from that edge. Never come towards it because it'll always ruin it then. See, I'm just going down that side all the way. A bit more paint when you run out. Put it in there. And then again, just come from that side in. Always that side in. There. We just don't have to be perfect, and it doesn't matter if a little bit of this gets over that edge. It's not really that relevant. Right, so while I've got that, I'm just going to again touch up there. Because I want it to not get underneath it, basically. This side, you have to remember, change the angle so you're still coming away from it. That's what it's all about. Same over here, touch it, and you can bring some of that colour in. Like I say, if this doesn't end up perfect, it's irrelevant because you, you can just sharpen it up by putting a tiny bit of white on it once you've took this template away. That's good. Do one side, then the other. Really nice and simple. I use it a lot. I use these templates a lot. And gessos with oils. As you've been seeing just lately with the acrylics underneath. And this is going to have a, a little bit of that actually. So I'll show you how you can use that. What I taught you before. In any kind of painting really. Surprising. As long as you don't put acrylics over oils, it'll always be fine. So there we go. Very carefully, just going to peel that back. So I'm just going to grab it at the bottom. And then very carefully just peel that back. And there we go. We've got the basic shape of what we was after. <coughs> Underneath here, I know that I need some dark. I'm just going to use this brush. I'm just indi going to indicate like a few little bushes and stuff. Just behind there, we're talking about that sort of level. There's a water line. Up there. So I'm just like marking that out and I just goes all the way along into there. So that's going to be like water. Just put some dark in for that. And even just slightly go over. As long as it's not dark, really dark. Once you run out of paint, you can actually you know, you can move it around and change it and stuff. But I want some dark in there. Uh, I actually want it to be quite dark in certain spots and leave the light area in other areas. So you see that? Leave these little light bits and then put the dark in there. All about these templates, basically, the main part of this is about doing these templates. Now, this side, I've got a bosch that comes, and I'm just going to mark it out for myself. It comes down and it goes right behind this, but I'm going to start off by just stippling that in. I know it's quite high. I'll to draw your eye into the centre of this and then be gentle when you're coming here. 
See that? And that'll just go behind. Leave the light at that area so it's not separation between this and this. And then behind that it's going to be dark. Good and dark all the way towards the bottom of the canvas. With that one. You can even just paint it in white so it's not a gesso. This flattens out anyway and we're going to use oil paints over the top of this. Good. Right in there, because that doesn't just have a line underneath it or out, so I'm just put black just over there as well. Now, you notice I'm just trying to get the bulk in here first. I want all this dark down in here for now. Use a big brush if you like for this, it's just that I've been using this for these little detailed areas so I might as well just finish off with this one rather than cleaning two brushes. Been working really really hard to get the DVD series online for download so it'll be up soon been hard work for us computer novices <laughs> doing the simplest things since the tech forever I want to give a shout out to uh, a friend of mine who actually helped me with the music Flute Ninja a guy on YouTube who's got some amazing music on there with his flute and I used it for the theme of this Japanese garden I thought it was sweet I hope you guys enjoyed that because I love it smart so cheers flute yeah, that colour in now I want to use this colour up and then let the brush sort of like run out of paint slightly so I'm just going to block that in first in there it's black all the way up the bottom now I'm running out of colour you see I know that I just want a few bits of dark just going on up in here as well some trees and stuff which I'm going to put in I'm going to start off just with this and then I'll probably go and use some acrylics maybe or even maybe not I might just use oils but these trees all behind this and I'll leave this area a bit brighter because there's a lovely bright spot where it's hitting trees in there so I can come into it with this and just leave some light areas in between that because it's run out of colour more or less and pretty much just disappear when we use the oils over the top over in here the same thing just want to get some little bits of indications of shadows and then the lights will stand out better in here, same in there, just keep twisting the brush around and you'll use all the paint up in there and you have to tap harder and harder as you go, so then you can tap into a tiny bit of it if you like, maybe just tap it out there and be gentle at first until you've run out a bit of paint, again I want to drag some of the darks into that, but leaving the lights in between in here it starts to get a bit darker this is the shadows so I can actually just tap into that with a dark see I was starting off really dark at the base of the it's at the water's edge basically so it needs to be good and dark just that and then I'm gonna actually use it as it's drying up and then running out of colour and bring it up into that see that bring it up into that area and then that's going to be the highlight areas for the greens 
where them darker shadows are. Then keep twizzling your brush around and you'll get all these lovely indentations and even flatter brush sometimes. Again, from dark to light. So I'm going to put a few more darker shadows just lower down. And then you can see where the shadows are. You need them shadows in there, you see. Even in there, there's some darker shadows. But it'll still distinguish from that solid colour if you're stippling like this. See that you can still see where it is, and that's all that we need really. Now, behind there, there's some dark again. Follow that dark spot through, and then I think it's just up above this area here. There's some good dark in there. I just need to make that quite dark a bit. Doesn't matter if you lose the top of your edge a bit, as long as you can see that line where that bush in the foreground is going to be. I used that as a guide and you I'd end up going over it. So I just know that I need it to be darker at the base of these trees, just underneath them basically. Bit of a workout using this small brush, but you do get some better effects when you use these small filbert brushes and stuff sometimes. You get some really cool stuff going on. There. I'll be bringing a lot of light back into this, you see, from where I put the dark and stuff. Carried away with the dark and kill it all. The door, just use the dark in the lower parts mainly. And then up in there, just let it happen. Don't stress with it. Again, as I run out of bit of colour, just in there. 